Hello, my name is Andy White. I'm a, an artist here in, in Montana, Helena, and uh, what you're looking at is a uh, hen shoveler um, duck decoy. I say duck decoy because it's carved um, with a keel, but as you can see, um, hopefully, that decoy carving has evolved far beyond what our ancestors used to hunt over uh, out of necessity for sustenance. Um, decoy carving has become an art form and in this case uh, I've been a wildlife artist my entire life um, but in the case of a decoy and I hope you can appreciate this but you know you, you, as a flatwork artist uh, you can go down to Hobby Lobby and buy an oil canvas or you know prime canvas and start painting right away or, or watercolor paper or whatnot but it, before you can ever put a brush to a bird like this you've got to carve it it's it's carved out of wood and in this case this piece of wood came from a northern white pine in, in uh, Idaho, and it was felled by a man named Frank Werner in, in the panhandle of Idaho, uh, a 400-year-old white pine. Um, I only mention that because, you know, there's a, there's a lot that goes into uh, a decoy, and in this case, there's a story to be told about the wood itself. Um, and so basically, I've been a decoy carver for 15 years, and this bird is the culmination of my efforts. Um, every, every feather grouping, every color is, is, I won't say perfect, but you know, as close as I could get it after 15 years of, of studying the, I actually, I care about this stuff. It's, I, I have a weird disease, I know, but, um, so, you know, the, the primaries, the tertials, the secondaries, the side pockets, they're all the right size, shape, color. Um, all the all the colors are as accurate as I could possibly make them. The size of the bill, the shape, the eye set. Um, you're getting my best effort. Um, this has been carved as if you could throw it in the water, and actually you can. It she's sealed. She's sealed watertight. She's made to hunt. That's that's what we as decoy carvers do to honor our forefathers. Is we still make these birds as if we're going to hunt over them, but we won't. They're going on the mantle. Um, I hope that's where you can enjoy this bird is on your mantle as well. Thank you for your interest and happy bidding.